गुड मॉर्निंग माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू क्या आप सभी बुक खरीद लिए हैं क्योंकि सभी चीज का वीडियो सभी सब्जेक्ट का वीडियो पहुंच रहा है उसका क्वेश्चन आंसर आपको बनाना है तो आज एस एस टी में फर्स्ट चैप्टर आवर रिसोर्सेस रिसोर्स मीन्स संसाधन तो देर आर टू टाइप्स एक फर्स्ट नेचुरल एंड मैन मेड सेकंड मैन मेड नेचुरल संसाधन आप जानते हैं प्राकृतिक संसाधन आप जानते हैं पर्वत पठार पहाड़ नदी ये सब क्या है नेचुरल है विंड हवा है ना सूर्य के प्रकाश देख रहे हैं जमीन के अंदर से आप निकालते हैं क्या कोयला निकालते हैं पीरा निकालते हैं आप जमीन के अंदर से सोना निकालते हैं तंबा निकालते हैं पीतल निकालते हैं ये सब की संसाधन है और मानव भी एक खुद रिसोर्स है ये भी संसाधन है लेकिन जब तक वह उसे उपयोगी नहीं बनाया जाएगा तो मानव संसाधन नहीं हो सकता है जन्म लिया तो क्या मानव संसाधन हो गया नहीं जब वह एजुकेशन प्राप्त करेगा और एजुकेशन प्राप्त कर करके जब वह दूसरे दूसरे के लिए उपयोगी बन जाएगा इंजीनियर बनेगा डॉक्टर बनेगा जब तक वह एजुकेशन नहीं पाएगा वह रिसोर्स नहीं बन सकता है संसाधन नहीं बन सकता है तो आज हम उसको देखें और स्टूडेंट यू हैव मेनी आइटम्स देयर ऑन द स्क्रीन ऑल यू हैव टू डू इज सेग्रीगेट देम इन टू कैटेगरीज यू हैव टू फिगर आउट either each of them belongs to a natural resource or a man made resource can you do that great just take a while and finish it you can pause the video and then you can figure out if your and my answers match or not so you got the answers let's check them so i say that air water soil coal petroleum and natural gas are natural resources well many times students get confused between these three students sometimes don't know if coal petroleum and natural gas are man made or naturally occurring resources but here i say that these are all natural resources whereas if you talk about plastics synthetic fiber medicines car explosives refrigerator they are majorly man made resources when this this was correct now in this lesson we are primarily focusing upon this category of resources which is the natural resources so to start with we see what are natural resources well natural resources as the term defines natural here means obtained from nature so anything that is obtained from nature is called natural correct what is the meaning of resources well resources is something which can be used so things that we use in our daily life which comes naturally are what you call natural resources simple right most common examples if we see here these are air water soil trees minerals wildlife coal petroleum and natural gas these are the very very common examples that you see in your daily life now students you also observe one thing here that all of them are natural definitely but there is a slight difference between some of them and this difference makes us to make two categories of natural resources what are these categories well here you see that natural resources can be of two types the first category is inexhaustible natural resources so what are they 
Well, these are those which cannot be used up completely. So students, whenever you talk about being exhausted, you come back from school and you say, Mom, I'm totally exhausted. What does that mean? You mean that you are really tired, you are worn out. Now, these are here something the same. Meaning that these are those resources which do not worn out, which cannot be used up completely. On the other hand, we have the second type of resources which are exhaustible. Like us. We get exhausted easily. Right? So these are exhaustible, meaning which can be used up completely. So in the nature, there are two types of resources. And if you move forward and look at their examples, you will see inexhaustible and exhaustible. So inexhaustible are air. You can never use up the entire air, can you? Or you cannot finish the sunlight, can you? Same thing goes with water. In whichever form of water you use, it will always flow under the cycle. So these are a few things which are inexhaustible in nature. Talking about exhaustible, well there are many. For example like the wildlife, coal, minerals, petroleum, natural gases, even you and me. We are also exhaustible. One day we will die and our bodies will be exhausted. Right? So these are all what? These are exhaustible natural resources. In this lesson, if we focus upon these exhaustible natural resources, here you will see a very, very important point. Here we see that these are some of them, let's say, are what? These are the sources of energy also. So we can say that exhaustible natural resources are the non-renewable sources of energy. These are what? Non-renewable sources of energy. Meaning that if you finish up petroleum, it cannot be renewed again. If you finish it, you finish it. If you finish coal, you finish coal. It cannot be renewed again. If you use any part of wildlife, maybe you can use trees. If you use these trees, these are non-renewable sources of energy. You cannot make a tree again right then. It will take a lot of time. So a lot of people will, you know, uh, let's say doubt on this or they will debate that how is it non-renewable? You can get coal again, you can get petroleum again, you can get tree again. But look at that time. It takes a lot of time to grow a tall tree. It can take 10 years, 15 years, 20 years or 100 years also. So these all take a lot of time and hence we call them non-renewable sources of energy. Got that? Now among these, we have one more important thing. It is that coal, petroleum and natural gases, they are termed as fossil fuel. So certainly they are non-renewable sources of energy, but they also have a new term for them, which is fossil fuel. Now what is fossil fuel, students? Do you know? No, no problem. Well, first I'll explain you how are they formed and then I'll give you the definition. Alright, so let's begin. Here we will see how fossil fuels are formed. Well, you see students, the plants and animals which died millions of years ago, they were gradually buried deep in the earth. They were gradually buried deep in the earth and they were covered with sediments like mud and sand and they were away from the reach of air. Now in the absence of air, the chemical effects of heat and pressure along with bacteria, they all converted them into something called fossil fuel. Yes. So they died actually on the surface. But as the time went on, they got buried deeper and deeper and deeper inside the earth crust. 
Now in these deep layers, there was no air, there was high pressure, high heat and because of that, they all got converted into something that we call today as fossil fuel. So you understood what is fossil fuel? So how will you define it? How can you define the fossil fuel students? Well, you can easily say that fossil fuels are the remains of the prehistoric plants and animals buried under the earth millions of years ago. So basically you see that they are formed from what? They are formed from the remains of living organisms only. But it took them millions of years to form. So here we see that fossil fuels are really, really rare. They are actually exhaustible natural resources and they cannot be renewed easily. Got that? That is why you call them fossil fuel. Fossil means the dead remains of prehistoric plants and animals. And fuel because we use them to get energy. Clear? So overall we have seen that resources can be of two types. These can be natural or these can be man-made. Further we have seen that natural resources can be of two types again. These can be inexhaustible natural resources or exhaustible natural resources. When we look at the examples, we see that inexhaustible natural resources are like sunlight and water and exhaustible, they can be like petroleum and natural gas. Students in this entire chapter, we will be focusing upon these exhaustible natural resources. Fine? So now we have learned this much, it's time for some practice. So now, as our first practice question, we have sort the following. You have to sort the following into inexhaustible and exhaustible natural resources. Ready? Let's do this. First we have inexhaustible and then exhaustible column. Here we will talk about sunlight first. What is sunlight students? Exhaustible or inexhaustible? Correct. It is inexhaustible. How about coal? Well, we just learned it's a fossil fuel, hence it is exhaustible. Diesel? Again, it is also exhaustible. Air? No, it is inexhaustible. How about water? Water is also inexhaustible, that's right. CNG? CNG is natural gas. What is it? It is exhaustible natural resource. How about forest? Forest is exhaustible or in? Yes, it is exhaustible. So if you use all the wood from the forest, it is certainly going to be just a barren land. Correct? So this is the first question we had. In the second question, we will see fossil fuels are formed by how are fossil fuels formed? Are they formed by plastic or by the dead plants and animals? Certainly by the dead plants and animals. That's why the name given fossil. Got this? So this was all about the introduction to natural resources.